Hello everybody, welcome to another commentary done by Frank. This is going to be League of Legends, and very quickly, the other team has a Ramus jungling all other characters we don't need to worry about for the first little instances of the game. So we're going to get into this very quickly, and I am Timo. This is going to be one of those games in ELO Hell. I am right around the 1250 mark, and I have had a terrible time trying to get past this. I think it's been about between somewhere between 15 and 20 games that uh, that I've been stuck around that mark so I've been having a really hard time getting out of it now I want you to know that I'm hopefully gonna be able to uh, upload this in when 1080p I'm really working ready. on my video quality right now so if I can get this up flawlessly and yes, get things sir. working then I'm gonna have you guys along the ride for my climb through the uh, the ladder here now I want to point out that this was 1250 ish mark and I am currently at about 1320 roughly so I really want to take you guys along the ride for me climbing that ELO ladder and uh, this is gonna be one of those games where I do it now um, I am just chilling over here because we uh, I do know that Ramus is jungling and we do not have a jungler as you can see in the chat there um, that we're talking about how we got to do some jungling and this and that and I'm telling them to check out our golem I really want the uh, the early map control here I really want to know where the Ramus is because I know that he kind of needs a blue in order to jungle effectively and if you look here they all have ghost every single one of them has ghost and three of them have flash one of them has teleport so a very mobile team very able to get away from things but um, unfortunately for them I am Timo I do plan on carrying this game so so with Timo being so quick and I also have Ghost and Flash and his move quick ability is just going to uh, make me that much more capable of chasing enemies down and killing them. Now I want you to know my strategy as this is the first game uh, that I'm going to show you guys on my ELO ladder climb. Um, I do tend to go into games with a kind of uh, just strap on my backpack, fit all my team members into it and just carry them all the way to victory i really don't uh, play much of the team game until unless i recognize that my team is capable but i always assume that they're at the elo that i'm at for a good reason so there i am i, I did cloak and that's a very good spot by the way to cloak his teemo you want to be in the bush but he really can't get there fast enough unless you use your move quick and your ghost you can't get there before they do so uh, it's really tough to kind of set up that gank in the bush now uh uh, this is just going to be the the landing phase here. I am going to be working down uh, on these creeps here, and uh, yeah, with this team composition, I don't know if you noticed. I am uh, again, I am Teemo. I got move quick, very mobile champion. I would argue one of the most mobile champions in the game. And uh, if you look at my team comp though here, we've got a very very beefy support for uh, my Teemo here. We've got a Nasus, a Mundo, a Blitzcrank, and a Malphite pretty much the beefiest thing you can get for the uh, the bands that we had which are pretty typical I think there was an Amumu band a, uh, a Pantheon band and I don't know I think Shen was banned or something like that something along those lines but regardless um, they have a Gragas on their team laning uh, bottom and Gragas is paired up with Yes, I oh the new guy the Renekton guy and uh, they're they're laning against our Blitzcrank and our Malphite yeah and we got Mundo and Nasus top so uh, I don't know if you noticed when I came over to this lane though I was three of the melee creeps behind so if you notice that the Ash is leveling as you can see there she's level four whereas I'm only about a third of the way into level uh, yes, level three you're gonna notice that she's gonna be leveling a little bit faster than I am and it's it's exactly three melee creeps difference there so um ash there firing off her her bird to give her some scouting information see if she's getting ganked or not is uh kind of keying me off to the fact that i should really be checking this golem over here i do see that it has been taken so very unfortunate for me there and as you look up here we got a little bit of an action going on there a taunt was used on the nasus nasus also getting snared there so nasus is going down to almost no health and he's going to work his way back and actually get away from that so a very very nice escape there from nasus that's one of the benefits of having a very beefy team is you're you're more often than not if you got this beefy of a team backing you up you're probably not gonna lose first blood to uh, to the enemy team unless it's of course yourself going down because you will be the suspicious character on the team. 
Um, now just doing my best to last hit these creeps and I'll let you guys just kind of watch the action play out here because this is just the laning phase, nothing too special going on here. Yes, I think I'm going to get a little bit aggressive with this Ash and getting a lucky crit there on that, that minion there. And just checking my uh, my last hits there. I am 21 to I think that was 16 on this Ash. So I am kind of running a clinic on this this uh, Ash, who should be, I believe, outlast hitting me because she does have her volley. She has all kinds of things to support her in her last hitting ventures. So yeah, this is this is actually another common technique I want to go over here is allowing your turret to hit the caster minions once and then you can shoot them once and you'll take them down with melee creeps it is twice for most ranged dps characters let it hit the melee ki um, the creeps twice and then you hit it once and that's a pretty good way of uh, last hitting there and again just running a clinic on uh, on last hitting here and you can see actually nasus up top doing a very good job there very very good technique to just go into the jungle and come back out uh, if you're in a duo lane and let uh, let your your partner there get twice the experience in lane and while you jungle and get some experience of your own you're not really missing out on much and you can come back in lane and you're just benefiting your lane and your team in general kind of the same concept of just having a jungler so again i think i'm just gonna let this play out a little bit until some action happens i don't know if you noticed there that our dra the dragon was warded though so we're doing pretty well on that side of things and it looks like nasa is actually coming around the back of morgana and it looks like definitely a slow one off there i'm trying to just judge here by the mini map it looks like a slow one off there but unfortunately the morgana is going to get away from that so i assume a lot of damage done though at least so pretty uh pretty good damage doing there just good laning in general going into the jungle stepping back doing some uh doing some damage there and as you can see actually i'm harassing and i'm not yes, actually sir. doing what i said and letting this play out but this ash is actually doing a terrible job at last hitting i don't know if you guys notice how god awful she is uh at last hitting i always keep that in mind as i'm playing as well just to kind of keep an eye on that so it looks like yep yeah, just yeah, I'm just going to let it play out for a little bit and um, just let you guys kind of watch what's going on here. And uh, Ram is going for a gank top. I don't know if that's going to pull out for him, but regardless, I'm just going to let it play out for a little bit until some action picks up. There's first blood. An ally has been slain. That's got a sting. An enemy has been slain. Okay, so here I am placing my first mushroom down. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I was at three mushrooms. And it looks like Asha actually lets loose on her arrow there. And actually, I make the mistake of uh, just getting way too scared of being... Excuse me, of being stunned. And my instincts took over, and I just started running backwards. That was actually a very bad play on my part. I really should have stuck around and tried to fight that. I should have noticed that it didn't do a lot of damage and that she wasn't going to do a lot of damage in general. I had the blind. I really could have taken that fight, and I probably could have gotten the kill there with my flash and my ghost. Um, now, after I place that shroom, you guys got to realize I do have That's cooldown good. reduction runes running on this guy. Actually, I think I have cooldown. Every anytime you see me play a game, just know that there's going to be cooldown redu uh, reduction glyphs um, that I run. Casters, tanks, attack damage, all yes, ev every sir. single character type in the game, I do run uh, cooldown reduction. So I'm going to be collecting those shrooms very quickly. Actually, even without any cooldown reduction items, which I do get fairly early on, I uh, I am sp uh, generating these shrooms quicker than I can actually place them. So. I'm going to run around here down to the blue just to make sure that I can get, uh, after I push that lane of course, so I don't get a lot of damage done to my, um, to my, uh, my tower there. I put down a shroom there just to keep an eye on it, and unfortunately Nasus is actually coming down to take it. Well, fortunately I guess, but unfortunately for me because I've just burned all that mana. So I'm going to help him out here with the golem, and a little bit of indecisiveness comes up here. I, I know that I attempt to go back, and I'm just not quite sure because now my tower is getting pushed. I'm really not sure what to do in this instance. I, I know that Nas was going to need help with uh, the golem, and I start to back there, and then I start heading over because I needed to. Uh, there's a lot of experience over there, and I really don't want to miss out on that, but unfortunately the tower is going to take down quite a bit, and I rely a little bit too much on my move quick to get me there in time. 
I get the experience off of that last creep, but uh, unfortunately not uh, not some of the other ones that were there. And it looks like actually Greg is making a small move for the... Whoa, my screen just shut down. Making a small move for the dragon and uh, having to back away there. I think Rambus might have been cycling towards it. And it looks like actually Ash again putting the arrow off. And I make I make the small mistake of running back a little bit and then not quite sure what would have happened there. So in the middle of that fight, she stuck around a little bit too long. I took a little bit too much damage, not enough mana left over. I wasn't sure how the fight was going to go, so I got to go back. And this is actually another thing that you guys got to realize here. I'm sitting on three shrooms, which means that there's no cooldown running on it, which is a very, very yes, bad uh, bad thing for, for me to have happen because uh, you really, really want to have the cooldown on your shrooms running at all times. You get a lot better map control. As you can see, we've already got a pretty significant amount of map control. And if you saw that little blip there on the shroom in the bush, I now know that the that bush is warded. That top left bush in the center lane is actually warded. And now our Nasus has actually taken to the jungle, so very good for us there that he's uh, doing that. He's going to guarantee himself some siphoning strikes as well. But uh, yeah, so knowing that that's warded is very helpful. Um, unfortunately... Unfortunately, um, ah, Jesus, somebody's trying to get a hold of me here. I want to be in it. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, though, they, they are going to have vision, so good, good warding on them. Usually, the jungler will do that for the team. And actually, I push forward here a little bit. I do see that the Ramus is actually at goal, and so I know that he's not going to be coming out anytime soon. And the only thing I have to worry about right now is the Ash, and I know that she's not going to be back for a little bit, so... Doing a lot of damage there, actually getting that tower down to half health, so one more push like that, and I will be making a lot yes, of uh, a noise when that tower falls. And again, my uh, my shrooms reach three, so I, I really want to put this in a strategic spot here. And it looks like a little bit of a fight going off here, so I'm going to place down a shroom to slow down the enemy champion. And it looks like actually an ash arrow goes off there, but ulting there. But both of those characters hitting my shroom, I'm going to chase down this Renekton, and he's going to go down. Doing a pull from Blitz, and unfortunately the ash and the Greg's actually going to come in here. I'm forced to burn both of their flashes, so two flashes down, and I am going to hunt down this Gragas with my move quick and my ghost activated. I did flash over the wall as well, and it looks like, oh, two extra shots going yes, off there. Sir. I assume with the poison that he's going to die, but with Nasus going in there for the guarantee kill on something, he's going to uh, definitely pick up something sometime soon. There we go. He picks up the Ash, actually. Very strange. I would have assumed the Gregs would have went down there, but unfortunately, Nasus being way too deep, he is going to go down, but with all those champions being so heavily damaged and with the Ash actually out of the picture, Blitz is going to ultimate on these uh, these creeps here push his way down and we're going to take out this um this tower and with those creeps in the way i know i'm going to be able to dodge this dark binding so definitely dodging that i saw the pool go down i saw the dark binding go down i know i'm going to be able to do some damage there to that morgana so morgana taking a little bit of extra damage there because i knew that her uh, her abilities were on cooldown that's one thing that you guys got to keep in mind is when the ab the uh, enemy champion's abilities are on cooldown that's why it's a very, very good thing to play the champions rather than just ask what their cooldowns are at because you get a, a very good feel. You know, you, you look at what the enemy champion has as far as items go. You know what their cooldowns are going to be like and you know how much longer it's going to take for them to use an ability on you. So it's very key that you have a feeling for what they're, when they're going to be able to use it rather than just kind of a general, like just knowing the numbers it's not going to help you in a game where you're so focused on your champion and so focused on the minimap and things like that it's not going to help you all that much so and it looks like ooh, a dark binding actually hitting that um that mundo so very good dark binding there actually i'll give that yes, sir. to the uh, morgana there so here i am getting some mana regen i do like to go for the stinger very early on this is a build that i use for teemo quite often and it's very effective it looks like actually mundo at top with the red buff ticking away there on the mundo that morgana's gonna pick up that kill so off i go to mid lane and it looks like i'm actually being indecisive again i'm just gonna run to this top tower defend it and i see that there's a big creep wave as well as nasus in middle lane so he's gonna be able to hold that off i'm not needed so much there so i'm gonna head off to this top lane here deal with this morgana she's not gonna be able to take down the tower very quickly you're looking for a last hit there 